Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Becca from At Home in the Sun. And today we're gonna to be doing an estimated budget by paycheck for our last paycheck in January. We are a cash envelope budgeting family and we make videos on YouTube to share our financial journey. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna to be doing an estimated budget for our January 28th paycheck. And the month up here is January slash February because although we do get paid in January, most of the money is going to go towards February expenses. Now, I don't have my income and bills because I do not do those in camera at this time. So what we're gonna do for our um, sinking funds in our expenses and our savings, we're gonna take our leftover from our bills. So this month, our leftover is 1,280 estimated. This may change once we actually get paid and all of the bills come in. So right now the estimated is $1,280 left over after paying all of our bills and all of our bills are paid online. So the way that I divide my categories is in by high priority and low priority. I do not do a cash envelope section and a sinking fund section. I do kind of mix them up a little bit. So I do have some sinking funds over here in my high priority category because all of these need to be stuffed first. They are a priority and then my low priority items can get stuffed next. And that's just the way that works for me. And over here, we also have our savings challenges for each month. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our high priority categories. And what I do, and I mentioned in one of my other videos, I have a shopping list and I divide my shopping list up by my categories. So as you can see, I have pets, health, beauty, homeschool, gifts, kids, and on the back, I have home and garden, spending, and fun. And um, as we go through the month, I do edit this, it is laminated, so I just write on it with a Sharpie and then erase things with alcohol as um, they are purchased. So I can write down things here that are coming up that I know that I need to budget for. And so this has been really, really helpful for me when I'm going through my budget by paycheck um, worksheet, being able to see what I need to save for and do I need to add more funds to that category for this paycheck. So what I do first is go through the things that usually always stay the same in my high priority um, categories. Okay, so this is usually a little bit more money than we have available for our high priority and low priority and savings funds. And that came at just the right time because over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna have to be spending a little bit more on food and putting a little bit more in our spending category because my daughter's birthday is next week and we're having a party for her, so more money will have to go into spending to pay for the food for the guests and things like that. So because we have guests coming in from out of town next week, we're gonna have to up our food budget to $300. I know that is necessary. We cannot get by with our usually 250 or 260 this time. Um, gymnastics is gonna be getting its usual $94. I'm gonna skip over some of these right now. Life insurance always gets the same, it gets $5. And lot tax always gets its usual $34. Now we're gonna go back up here, spending. I'm going to up this to $200 to cover birthday things, food for guests, and anything my daughter wants to do on her birthday, any kind of activity or place she wants to go. So I'm going to give that $200. Um, our kids are gonna get $10, and this is just stuff, for, um, Things they need like clothing and they really don't need anything right now. So I don't need to put a large amount in here. And our pet fund is going to get $50. This covers our nine chickens and two dogs that we have. Car maintenance is going to be getting 15. Homeschool is going to be getting 30. And my health fund is going to be getting 100. A lot of things come out of this. So I usually have to put a pretty large amount into health. And our beauty is going to be getting 25, all things beauty related. Now, I sometimes don't go straight to my low priority at this point. I usually go over to my savings. 
So once this is determined or estimated, I usually go over to my savings and I see what I've been able to save um, the last few weeks and then I go from there. So my 52 week challenge, I haven't been able to save a really huge amount yet. And for our 52 week challenge, we are trying to save $10,000 in 2022. So I would really like to put a large amount in this because we have a little bit more money to work with this time. So I am going to aim for $350 this time. Um, our spinner savings challenge is not gonna get stuffed this time around. Our 100 envelope challenge is going to be 10. We're gonna estimate 10 for that. And then our $1 challenge, I think we're gonna try maybe $2. We might have a few extra dollars left for that. And I usually go to my low priority last. So let's go ahead and go to that. So fun is going to be getting five. Vacation is going to be getting five. Anniversary, this is for my husband and I's anniversary in June. It's going to be getting 10. Our Thanksgiving sinking fund is going to be getting five. Home and garden fund is going to be getting 20. Gifts is going to be getting 10. And subscriptions is not going to be getting stuffed this time. So right now, this is our estimated budget. So the total of all of my high priority categories is $863. I don't know why I brought this calculator on because I already added this up. So let's move that to the side. So we take our leftover 1,280 minus 863, and that leaves us with $417 to work with. Now I have already worked through this, so I know that it will come out to a zero-based budget this time. So we're gonna take that 417, we're gonna add it up here, and the total of all of our low priority funds is $55. So 417 minus 55 is $362. And we're going to, tr we don't use our extra debt section at this point. So we take our 362. That is our leftover. And the total of our savings challenges is 362. And that's what cancels everything out to a zero based budget. Now, because this is our estimated budget, things could change and things probably will change, but I do like to do an estimated budget so I can get it kind of an idea um, where the funds are probably going to go. So when we get paid on the 28th, January 28th, I will do an actual budget and work out everything exactly how it's going to be. Um, and the thing about this is you need to be flexible. So I know like some things need to get stuffed. These are gonna be priority right now. So if I don't have enough money to stuff some of these low priority categories, it's not a big deal. They're not going to get stuffed. Flexibility is extremely important when you're budgeting and savings as well. Savings, since we do have savings already, we do have some savings in the bank. This is a priority, but it's not the number one priority right now because we do have an emergency fund already established. If you were just starting out in budgeting and you do not have an emergency fund, saving would be my number one priority after all the bills are paid because you really need that emergency fund in place in case something happens. Um, I mentioned in my last video, we had two unexpected car payments. They totaled up to $1,500 and that was not expected at all. And thankfully we had the emergency funds to cover it. I'm so thankful for that. So if you were just starting out, definitely work up that emergency savings, make that your number one priority. Um, I didn't mention that the worksheet that I am using today is from thebudgetmom.com. It is her budget by paycheck worksheet. If you wanna go check that out, she has it on her website. So I will be back in a few days with my actual budget. And we'll see if any of this changes and I'll be back with my full cash stuffing. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.